So they had her do all the software. So what do you have here? Life. I have life. satellite. Yeah, well, a satellite. That is, that is, I, 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 what I satellite is that? I, so I, I have no idea. Not Joe one, will have to Fox it's One. Not the one we're using right now. No. Is it, not yet. Is it Fox One? Oh, that is a Fox series satellite. Yes. Okay. That is a mock up of one. Let me hang my. Calm down. Here's Joe W. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? K6 WAO. So uh, I've been to Hamventions, so I'm into hats. Hats. Uh, this one doesn't have a tower or a light on it, but uh, that is how it goes. So Randy, long time no see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the mock-up of a Fox satellite. And cool. Fox satellites, if you talk to them about right now, that is AO85, AO91, and AO92, which are uh, UHF up, VHF down. It is a cross-band repeater in space, nothing more than a FM cross-band repeater is all we're doing. Now we partnered with universities, in this case on AO92 you can actually see one of the camera boards that goes on the spacecraft itself. This was our mechanical mock-up. This is how we learned how to bend aluminum, which is a lot more trickier than it sounds. And we populate it with boards and we bring it to ham fests all around the United States and generally we throw it at kids. Usually big kids seem to get the biggest kick out of it. Part of this is that we show how the antennas are stored. This is the two meter antenna right here. It is tied with a piece of fishing line and tied across a piece uh, of, uh, the line is tied across a resistor. This is called a burn resistor. When we launch this, we uh, turn the power on to it. Ohm's law happens. When Ohm's law happens, it melts the fishing line and sproinglingy the antennas deploy. And then the smoke goes out into space. There is no smoke. We <laughs> talked about it. It actually just melts the fishing line and the molecules expand until the uh, strength can't handle it anymore and the antenna deploys. So this is a mock-up. We don't have any of the solar panels on it, uh, which is, that's the pricey part of the satellites. But you can see how we actually deploy the boards. So there's a transmitter, a receiver, uh, internal housekeeping unit, a battery unit, the lead weights in here to simulate the 1.33 kilograms that a 1U CubeSat weighs. And then you have what we call an AMSAT, this space for rent. Four board spaces that universities can partner with AMSAT and supply experiments. And in this particular mock-up, you can see the Virginia Tech camera, which is going to be on uh, Fox 1 Cliff. They'll be launched later this year. And AO92, which is currently in orbit. This is a VGA camera that images come down. If you use the Fox to Lim software, you can actually download the images. So it's not as a digital stream. Though. It, it comes down as a uh, 300 hertz data under voice. Oh. So anything that is above 300 hertz is the beacon that the satellite uh, says, which is uh, uh, Tony's actual daughter, she, Veronica. Uh -huh. That's the Veronica signal with the Fox sweep. Anything under 300 hertz is data. And that data is the telemetry that comes down from the satellite. All the satellite health, all of the camera images, anything. We can switch this to high mode or we can switch it to the, the normal uh, 300. So 300 hertz, one man's noise is another man's data. That's basically how this works. So it's all in what you're looking for.